Hey guys, this is Margarita and Dave from Edge of Paradise and we are here to answer questions from Rock Lifestyle UK. So Dave is going to read the questions and we'll both answer them. Let's get, let's get started. What is the new album title? So the title of our third album is Universe. What is the new album about? So the new album is about a lot of things. It's about how to be limitless, how to find uh, power within yourself. It's basically we're taking you on a journey through our universe. And um, also we want to explore how a technology is affecting our society and how we are evolving. But most of all, we want to remind you that whatever you may be going through, life is always worth fighting for. When is the CD due to be released? So, we recently signed with Frontiers Records that will be announcing the release date soon. Uh, but it's going to be towards the end of summer, fall. And uh, we'll be releasing a single before that. So please keep posted for all of the updates on our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, website, wherever you follow us. And you can actually check out Face of Fear now. The video is out for that single. Yes. Expecting a single release for the new album? Yes, we will be releasing singles uh, before the actual release of the album. So we are actually filming quite a few music videos uh, that we will be releasing prior as well as when the album is out. So there is a lot of really exciting stuff going on, so please keep posted. Do you have any upcoming tours? <laughs> well, we just came back from Japan. And uh, right now we are focusing on getting everything ready for the release and like I said, creating content, um, music videos, and photos, because uh, we really want to focus on the imagery so it supports the music. So we want to uh, create a world for you guys to be a part of. So it takes a lot of work, uh, but when the album is out, we will be touring a lot and we will bring our show to you guys. So, um, like I said, please keep posted on our pages and the future tour dates will be announced soon. Is life on the road as it is depicted in the movies? <laughs> I mean, it depends what movies you're watching, um, but it's not, well... But what I can say is uh, life on the road is you really have to be in control of the situation because it's very unexpected and you, are, you have to be ready to handle anything that is thrown your way. It's of course really fun. We have plenty of adventures and we really love meeting new people and seeing different parts of the world and experiencing different cultures and of course bringing our music to you guys. So, um, it's definitely exciting. There's always an adventure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of crazy stuff happens, and it's usually not planned. Um, it's definitely like a movie. So that's why we actually try to document um, our trips. We recently documented our Japan trip, which was really amazing. Uh, so if you want to check it out, it's, it's on our Edge of Paradise TV YouTube channel. Um, yeah. It's kind of like a reality show. You never know what's going to happen. How did Edge of Paradise come to be? Well, I think partly it's his fault that it came to be. But um, I, was, I moved to Hollywood from New York and I was working with a producer and we wanted to get some guitar on the song we were writing. And we accidentally walked into this music store where Dave was playing and we were like, well, we have to get this guy to play on the song. And, um, you know, when I met him, we really had similar vision and we both worked really hard and we worked really well together. So we decided to form, um, you know, our own yeah, a band. band. Yeah. yeah. So we hit it off and we decided to continue forward and make our own band. Yeah, and we never looked back. Do you have advice for upcoming musicians? Well, I think number one advice is to create something you're really proud of. 
remember that quality is more important than quantity and to never give up you have to really follow through and just keep going you got to be work you got to work hard you got to be prepared to be all in exactly you really have to be especially these days cuz um, everything is very uh, especially these days because yeah it's very do it yourself yeah, I mean, you have a lot of tools and you have a lot of, especially with the internet, there's a lot of pluses and you have all these tools at your disposal. Mm -hmm. But you really have to be in control of it and you really have to get really good at what you're doing to create something. Yeah, marketing the whole uh, thing, need. it's on you. Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> Until you get to a certain point, but there's a lot of work you have to do. I mean, we, we I think, really paid our dues. <laughs> So definitely you have to put in a lot of work, but if you love it, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, there's a lot of moments that make it worthwhile. Yes, that's but for sure. you got to work hard. What is the best concert you've had the pleasure to perform at? Well, recently our Japan shows were pretty amazing. It was just completely new world for us, new territory. Um, we, we, we met a lot of amazing yeah, people. We met yeah. a lot of amazing people, and they're such great supporters of music. So that was a lot of fun. And I mean, all the shows we play, it's really a great experience. We mm -hmm. played Netherlands. Netherlands was fun. Uh, yep, super yep. fun at the Fem Festival. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, out in the U.S., we did tour. We toured U.S., you know, yeah. two times. To Some the crazy East Coast. adventures there, for sure. Yeah, we always <laughs> have crazy adventures. Um, but everywhere, it's so cool to meet people that, especially that are. Um, you know, share the love for the music. Mm -hmm. And like I always say, music is like a universal language. We disagree on a lot of issues in the world, but um, music, I think, really unites us. So that's really special. Yeah. All right, we got some crazy questions coming up. All right, who snores the loudest? It used to be Nick. <laughs> yeah, uh, our, our old, old bass, bass player, player. For sure. Loudest I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> it's too early to say with the new lineup, yeah. Because we all had the different rooms last time, so. Yeah, I think they all. I think I heard somebody. Yeah. <laughs> if you could collaborate with any musician, who would it be? Um, I would collaborate with Margarita. <laughs> I already am, so. <laughs> um, I think there's a lot of really cool artists out there. Uh, I mean, it would be really fun to do a song with. I don't know. Ramstein. <laughs> Ramstein. It would be cool, cool to tour with them. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that would be a good club. What is the embarrassing moment you guys have had on the road? Well, I don't know if it's embarrassing, but we did miss the show because we had three tire blowouts. Yeah, three flat trip. tires in one trip. <laughs> so. In one day. Do you watch YouTube? If so, who is your favorite creator? Um, I don't know, we don't really watch YouTube. Uh, what we do really takes a lot of time and uh, we are always chasing time. So I think whenever we get free time, it's either we are eating. <laughs> yeah, hitting the gym. Sleeping, or at the gym. We're at the gym. We're trying to keep in shape. Yeah, we don't even have a TV. We, uh, Pro Tools is our TV. Could you ever see yourself in the future performing at the Download Festival UK? Yeah. That's the goal, that. yeah. of course. Let's we'll make that happen. We'll see you next year. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make that happen for sure. What is your most favorite uh, memorable moment as a band? Well, there's a lot. I think we have uh, overcame many mountains. We climbed many mountains. Working with Michael Wagner in Nashville where we recorded mm -hmm. Immortal Vault, our yeah, second um, album, was really great experience. You know, touring, uh, you know, going to the East Coast twice and also, uh, you know, recently going to Japan, going to Netherlands. I mean, those are some really unforgettable memories mm -hmm. and they are all very special. And the coolest thing about it is that we make so many amazing relationships through those uh, trips that we really cherish. It's like a whole universe we're creating. Yep. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you could have an alternate life, what life would you have? Well, I would have definitely have a spaceship and a dragon in mm. my alternate, <laughs> alternate. Traveling through space, yep, exploring, space travel for sure. exploring new planets, new worlds. Mm. I think uh, all of us in the band are pretty 
you know, out there <laughs> lives for ourselves. But, um, you yeah, know. Yeah, I'd be a Terminator. Cyborg. <laughs> you, I thought you are a Terminator Cyborg. Kind of. Yeah, Vani is definitely model. a Terminator Cyborg. But this life is pretty great, so we are very happy to be sharing this crazy adventure with all of you. So this is it for the questions. Thank you so much, Rock Lifestyle, for having us. Yes, and we will see you soon.